In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the mesh concept to make an effective passing attack from pretty much any formation in Madden 23. Now, we're going to show you this out of the spread. It was actually originated as an air raid passing concept, actually out of two back, but we're going to show it out of spread in this video. And then we're going to also talk about how you can take this concept and actually apply it to other formations. Now, if you're a new Madden player just looking to get better at the game, I do videos every single day here on the YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking for that next level content, I have a ton of ebooks in my Patreon, over 22 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks, complete guides, complete schemes. I guarantee it'll make you a better Madden player. So if you want to check that out, the link's going to be in the description. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. And like I said, it's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And I guarantee it will make you a better Madden player. So if you want to check that out, the link is down below. But real quick, what is the mesh concept? I'm glad you asked. One of my favorite concepts to talk about if you go to uh, the concept menu of your play call screen, you're gonna see different variations of mesh, uh, but basically um, it is a little bit of a, a, a difference in Madden um, than it is in real life. Uh, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, but essentially it's two drags and the mesh is really designed to be a check down route. And in real life, we can pick any play in this formation. It does not matter the play. Um, so I'm just gonna pick this wide receiver under play and we're gonna create the mesh. You can create this out of any play in the game. Um, and it's one of the best plays in the game. It's one of the best concepts year over year for beating man-to-man -man coverage. It's also really good against zone, um, but we're gonna show it first and foremost against man-to-man. -man. So. Um, what makes mesh mesh? Well, really all it is is two receivers meshing or two drags uh, coming across the middle. Now from there, there's different variations of mesh. For example, let me give you one real quick. One of them is two out routes on the outside and then two drags in the middle. So it looks something like this. Okay, another mesh could be something like this where you have the two drags like this and then you have the out route on the right. Another one that I really like is kind of like a post or a deep dig, something like this, very effective. Another one that I really like is something like this, okay? So you can call this, and this play is going to essentially, um, the, the two receiver routes, the whole purpose of the play is for these two receiver routes to run into one another, and the quarterback now has a window for you to be able to hit this against man and zone. And if you space the field properly with your other routes, it can potentially pull zones. That's why the original mesh, they like to have this, um, this is really the, the best, I think, version. Um, just a little quick speed out, quick, quick out to the outside receiver that you're gonna read there. And then you've got your mesh reads over the middle of the field like that, something like that, okay? The reason this is so good is because it really manipulates zone really well. Um, let me shift, you would wanna have this, you, wanna, well, you would wanna have your back, I think, on the short side um, if you were gonna run this version of mesh. But basically, this is just gonna space the field really well. So, like, if they're in man coverage, You've got, your, you've got your mesh routes kind of underneath. You have that quick out. That quick out can be five or 10 yards. Um, you know, I think in, at Washington State when Mike Leach was coaching there, uh, I'm pretty sure it was like a rounded eight to 10 yard out, uh, something like that. Uh, but anyway, you'll see here, it's like if they have a purple zone, you see that you can throw the short side out really, really well. So now what they have to start doing in zone is they have to start over adjusting. So they're gonna start running you know, two flats or something like this. Now what's gonna happen is my running back wheel in the seam is gonna be open. So you see how good this play is. Like I said, it's very simple. Just a, uh, it, it's, it's really just simply mesh. That's what the play is. And um, in real life, those receivers would actually, when they're running the route, they would sit against zone. So they would basically settle up a noose. They would settle up in the zones and finding uh, key hot spots that are open, basically. They would run till they're open, essentially and they would sit down in zone or they would continue to run if it was man. Now, this play, Mesh Post, had a bunch, one of the best plays in the game this year, and we can kind of get at a lot of this same basic deal uh, you know, with this play. So what we're going to do with this is uh, we're going to kind of change this up, tweak it. I'm going to show you how you can use this. And there's a lot of variations of, of, the, of the play. Um, so you could literally just simply call the play like this, um, there's a lot of players that will call the play like this. Uh, you could motion this guy out on this post, which I think is actually really good, especially if they're running a lot more man coverage because it gives that guy more space 
to ideally catch the ball. I don't know why the ball went through his hands. Um, I guess that's Madden 23 in a nutshell. But anyways, that's an idea, okay? So another thing that you can do, though, that I actually really like is you can actually create layers within your mesh concept. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to put Pickens on an out route. We're going to put uh, Taysom Hill. We're going to put him on a in route or a drag. And then we're going to put our slot receiver on a slant and we're going to motion him across. So now what we have here is we have essentially mesh. It's the same basic concept. The two routes are going to be meshing over the middle of the field. This wheel route is in the seam and that wheel route will also serve as a pull route late against zone. And so what you'll see here is if you get man to man, hopefully you don't get screamed at and we have that, that post route over the middle, right? So you can kind of tailor this to whatever you want to do on the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, another thing that I like is that simply sometimes tight end animations can be a little wonky, as you saw right there. So by putting him on a five yard in, it's more like a speed in. For some reason, I can't freeform anything, um, but it's like a speed in. So you can have that as well. You could do a slant to the tight end and a drag here. What that's going to do is late into play. That tight end will come open. You'll see here, um, you know, kind of over like almost like a crossing route. So that's the idea. These crossers are really the beauty of the of the mesh concept, and it's really the key. The whole entire whole entire piece of mesh is really this idea of that. And then the other thing is you have a route like this post that is essentially going to give them trouble if they overcommit to your mesh routes. That's the idea. So like if they're overcommitting to the middle of the field, if the linebackers are sucking up to guard the mesh route, right now we can you know we can throw the post route late if we get that separation against zone. Now, this is even better, I actually think, if you can put the Hot Route Master post out here. The Hot Route Master post is a sharper post route, and I actually think it makes it significantly better. So I love to use the Hot Route Master post. And then, you know, now again, same basic concept. We'll motion the tight end this time, and we'll actually just do two drags here. Um, but what you'll see with this, let's say they give you that zone look. If they start coming down on your receivers, then you can highball this and basically ag it behind the yellow zones. So this is how mesh works. It's really the core concept. Uh, I did want to quickly point out, it doesn't just have to be a post route. Okay, it doesn't just have to be a post route. So like in this example here, you know, you can use a corner route from CD Lamb. Now the corner route is not going to get zone separation but against man-to-man -man, if they're playing man coverage we know that corner routes are one of the best routes in the game for attacking man-to-man -man coverage if they play zone you still have your running back wheel you still have your running back wheel and you still have your um you know your little quick out to pickens here so you see here running back wheel gets in the seam boom so mesh is an extremely versatile play i think it's a must-have in any offense you can do this out of any literally any formation in the game. Uh, gun tight is a great formation to run mesh out of. Uh, what I like to do with this is we're going to, we're going to do something like this where we have two meshes underneath. We're going to have our out route to CD lamb and we're going to have a post. So it looks something like this. This is the same basic idea um, as mesh. And you're going to have a lot of success with something like this. And we know how good the high ball wheel routes are this year. So you can do a lot with this play. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the Air Raid Offense, I've got an entire ebook teaching all the principles in the Patreon. Link is going to be on your screen. 10 bucks gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Make sure you get signed up for the Patreon.